While customers have been enjoying breakfasts under a tent outside, the team at Allenstown Country Diner has been busy prepping and placing tables inside ahead of tomorrow's eased state restrictions, allowing indoor seating at restaurants to resume. We're dealing with it as best as we can, just like everyone else. The diner is in Merrimack County, which, along with others in Rockingham, Hillsboro, and Stratford, can only allow half capacity seating for now. Everywhere else, dining is only limited on number of people or tables when social distancing measures cannot be maintained. In all counties, tables must be kept six feet apart and have no more than six people. So what we've done is we've taken both of our dining rooms and we've mapped out which tables are available to be sat at and which aren't. So pretty much we just put signs on the tables that you can't sit at. Things have been different at restaurants since mid-March when the governor ordered them to offer takeout or curbside pickup only. That lasted for two months until May 18th when they were allowed to begin outdoor seating. But many have struggled with limited options of space or resources. Onions Pub and Restaurant in Tilton used the months of dramatically less business to make renovations and update their menu. I'm so glad that we're going able to go back inside. Although able to open fully to stay compliant with the ongoing six feet rule, owners say they will still lose about a quarter of their usual number of tables. I've pretty much so written off this year as far as sales go. Customers everywhere are still being asked by the state to wear face coverings in and out of restaurants or to use the restroom. Tabletops and any condiments must also still be sanitized between every dining group. Though it means extra work for servers and bussers, some say it helps return consumer confidence about their health in public. We may be here, but we have to make sure that people are comfortable coming on out and, and having their dining experience. In Tilton, I'm Tyler Dumont, WMUR News 9.